Link. Where are you? Welcome to the Nyendiki Book Monastery, young Eric. I have been expecting you. I fear your journey until now has been a confusing one. Perhaps I can make things clearer. A year ago, I was studying in the monastery library when a trick of the light revealed that the ancient manuscript I was reading was actually a palimpsest, a scroll that had been written on, scraped off, and used again. What lay underneath was a breathtaking discovery. The location of an ancient terma. 
A terma is a key piece of wisdom that was written down in ancient times and magically hidden until such future time as the wisdom is needed. Only then does the terma come again to the light. I could not decipher the entire scroll, and so I brought it to Master Lama Kenpo Jigmilingpa for him to study. But in the meantime, I also told my good friend Edward Bennett what I had found, and that the terma lay waiting to be collected high on the Sacred One. Bennett could not wait for the remainder of the scroll to be translated. Impetuously, he embarked on a solo climb to retrieve the terma, and suffered a terrible accident that resulted in the loss of his leg. By the time Bennett had recovered, Master Kenpo had deciphered the rest of the text. It was a prophecy about the man who would bring the terma down from the mountain. When I read the prophecy to Bennett, he immediately said that the words applied to your brother. <sighs> Bennett brought your brother here and prepared him to climb the mountain. There were mundane preparations, of course, but also sacred ones. Normally, one cannot climb Chomolonzo unless one has journeyed on foot around the base of the mountain twelve times. Such a journey is known as a Kora. Of course, Frank had not completed these Koras. But Bennett persuaded Jomo Menmo's apprentice to perform a series of sacred rituals that would appease the goddess and allow Frank to approach her. The apprentice was a young girl named Mingma Yangzi. Something must have gone wrong. The day after Frank left camp, ghosts and demons started to appear. The Sherpas fled. My fellow monks fled. They have run away from the goddess for the very reason that you approach her. They flee themselves. You approach yourself. <laughs> Thanks all the same, mate. But I don't believe in your goddess. I'm just here to collect my brother and move on. You don't need to believe in her. You have been fighting these ghosts that you do not believe in, yes? They are only going to get stronger. And if you do not prepare yourself to approach the mountain, ultimately these ghosts will defeat you. You think this is about your brother, and it is, but it is also about you. Not all ghosts wish you harm. Seek out the spirits of our departed Lamas and learn what they have to teach you.
that's buried here. Mummies. They're mantras. Maybe record on tape.
Prepare yourself to face the terrible spirit that awaits inside the sanctum. I think you should know. I'm not exactly a praying man. Prayer is not necessary. Sit. Become calm. Enter within yourself. You will know when you are ready. The spirit may have passed into the bardo. You mean he's dead? <laughs> Not exactly. It is possible for a spirit to return from the bardo. Dead's dead. But if his body's up there, I'm going to find it. Do not give up on Frank yet. 
This scroll will introduce you to Master Lama Kenpo. He will tell you about the bardo, how it might be entered, how a soul might be retrieved. I don't believe a word of it, but thanks all the same. Log. Eighteen thousand seven hundred feet. Right below Dige Gonchen. Biggest monastery in the entire province. Library jammed with centuries of wisdom. But I need to find the abbot, King Po Jigme Lingpa. He's the one who will help me find Frank. Now I'm going as mental as the rest of them. I could swear I had a vision of Bennett. If the bald chap turns out to be Kenpo, then I'll really be freaked out.
maybe this whole idea is just impossible. Frank is dead, and I should leave it at that. Turn around and go home. This is crazy. He's probably dead already. Another hotshot climber doomed by his own arrogance.
shape to pull this off. I should be climbing after Frank, and instead I'm chasing delusions in some old monastery.
It's been too long. Frank can't possibly be alive. What the hell am I doing? Didn't you? Hmm? I've got
got a climber dead on the mountain and no treasure to show for it. The Terma has not left the mountain, so it is not for us to say yet whether the prophecy is true. As for treasure, the value of the Terma lies only in the wisdom it reveals. Bollocks, you old fraud! We both know the possessor of the Terma will become immortal. You can sit there on your ass and chant if you want. I'm going to retrieve the Terma myself. I know you're out there, Simmons. You want to fight ghosts while your brother freezes? Fine. But I'm going back to base camp while there's still time. Paul might rescue Frank, even if you won't. I recognize you. The vision. That's impossible. <laughs> Perhaps you are recalling a photograph of me that you saw when you met Todpa. Maybe. You were wise to avoid Bennett. You are not yet ready to ascend the Sacred One. People keep saying that. Sit with me. Meditate. I will teach you to enter the Bardo and learn the fate of your brother. passes through between death and rebirth. The first bardo comes at the moment of death. If one is truly enlightened, 
one can enter nirvana at that instant. Most souls pass into the second bardo, which is divided into two parts and which lasts for two weeks. During the first seven days, the departed soul encounters the peaceful deities. During the second seven days, the soul meets the wrathful deities, hideous, terrifying demons who torture, howl and scream. The soul who can remain calm and recognize that the wrathful deities are really the peaceful deities in disguise may pass to enlightenment. If the soul enters the third bardo, it encounters the Lord of Death who passes judgment upon it using the mirror of karma. If the soul fails, it is drawn earthwards towards rebirth and yet another cycle in this world of sorrow. Your brother has used the power of the Terma to enter the Bardo while still alive. He is wandering in the nether regions, trapped between worlds, powerless to move either forward or backward. It is still possible for him to return to this life, to be reunited with his earthly body. But for him to do so, Eric, you yourself must enter the Bardo, search for your brother, and help him to return. Climber's log. Oh, screw that. I've no idea where I am. Feels deadly though. All dark and cold. Maybe it's the bardo that Kempo talked about. I've got to find Frank and get out of here. Quick.